Hi everyone, welcome back to At Home with Sonia. Today is my first Christmas Decorate With Me video and I'm so excited to share my 2024 Christmas kitchen decorating ideas with you. If you're looking to create a cozy festive atmosphere with a mix of nostalgic, earthy and elegant touches, then join me as I transform the heart of our home. If, you, if you're new here, I've always liked to start my decorating process with a bare slate. There's something about clearing everything off that really lets me see the space, envision the theme, and set the mood for each area. It helps me focus on where each festive piece will go and how it will add to the coziness and charm of the season. And as for the decor, I'm mixing a variety of pieces to create that inviting layered look I love. I'll be using some of my own homemade DIYs, items from my favorite spots like HomeSense, Walmart and Amazon, and even a few great finds from the dollar store. This blend lets me capture that high-end curated feel without breaking the bank and it gives each space a unique personal touch. Some pieces bring a nostalgic warmth while others are more earthy and rustic creating that cozy collected look that's perfect for the holidays. To King things off as i already mentioned i love to always start with a clean slate it helps me visualize the look i'm going for without any distractions so first we're decorating the island and i'm creating a simple vignette on this wooden round tray from homesense i am going to be adding another homesense find which is this vessel and to it, I'm going to be adding some pine branches from Timu, giving it a lush, wintry feel. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I miss you. Next, I'm placing two bells of different sizes from home, home sense. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. And then I'm going to be adding a deer that I DIY years back alongside of these items I'm going to be adding this adorable mailbox candle also from home sets and to complete the look I am going to be adding a candle stopper from Dollar Tree I just love how this setup turned out Moving to the left side of the countertop, I am going to be adding a pine tree from Home Sense nestled into a pot from Dollarama. It has that earthy, curated look I love. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. cover some outlets I'm placing a thrifted cutting board and then I'm going to be adding this wooden house collection from HomeSense which ties in beautiful with festive yet rustic theme and I'm also going to be adding this vintage bowl I have thrifted here as well I'm also going to be placing a pot here to hold my kitchen utensils and rolling pins Baby, this year 
It's just gonna be you and me The wooden bowl, I'm going to be adding some gingerbread cookies from a local cider shop. And to add a vintage feel, I'm including these DIY cookie cutters and some fresh, I'm going to be adding some fresh cedar from my garden. At this point I felt it needed a bit more so I'm, I added some gingerbread ornaments from Michaels. But then as you will see in just a minute I swapped them out for a homemade orange slices from my DIY channel. This gave it that look I was going for. On the stove, I'm using my gingerbread spoon holder. Moving on to the other side and next to my mixer, I felt it needed something extra. So I'm going to layer a thrifting cutting board and then I'm going to add my diffuser to it. And to the back of the diffuser, I'm going to add another thrifted cutting board alongside with a Christmas tree cutting board from HomeSense and my DIY gingerbread men board. Next, I'm going to be adding a wooden Christmas tree that I got also got at home since I just love the way this Christmas tree looks. And then beside it, I'm going to use another DIY vase and to it, I'm going to just add some greenery from Dollar Store. I also wanted to share a simple diffuser blend with you. So I like to use my diffuser all the time, especially when the daycare kids are here so I can get that cozy scent without an open flame, just like a simmer pot. 
So to it, I will add three drops of each of cinnamon. Then I'm going to add some three drops of pine needle as well as orange. And this will make your kitchen smell like Christmas all the time. And over to my mixer, I'm going to add um, a kitchen festive Christmas kitchen towel from HomeSense just to add that extra texture and coziness to this corner. Now let's work on the coffee station, or in this case, a hot cocoa bar. I'm mixing nostalgic pieces with rustic elements for a warm, inviting look. I'm going to be hanging a sign from HomeSense with command hooks, and if you're in the US, HomeSense is like home goods. I love adding a heated lamp and candles for a beautiful aroma without an open flame. Another great way to add a beautiful scent to your home without worrying, like I mentioned before, having an open flame. I'm also including my gingerbread cookie jar, a Disney countdown, and all the hot cocoa essentials. Now I do want you to bear with me while I'm decorating this shelf as it is definitely a process. I put stuff on, take stuff off, but I do think it's important for you to see that, you know what, sometimes I have to change out things several times before I am happy with the way things look. So I always like to share the process with you. Sometimes I get it right off the first pad, but most of the time I do have to take stuff off, change stuff, things that I thought I was definitely going to be using, I don't end up using because they're just not speaking to me. And it is really funny because from year to year, one year I love the way something looks and then when I try to recreate it in the next year, I just don't love it anymore. It, it's different a year from year to year. So like I said, I like sharing this process with you um, and, and just um, showing you that you know sometimes you have to uh, do a couple tries before you uh, are happy with the way things look the candy jars are a dollar tree dollarama purchase and they are they were just the ones with the bamboo lid and i painted the lid red and i added some words for, with my cricket machine the little um, sprinkles set came from HomeSense and the Red House came from Costco although I am finding I'm not reaching for those as often as I did previous years. As you can see that gingerbread cookie jar went from the bottom shelf all the way to the top shelf and I also want to apologize for giving you a headshot continuously uh, but this is such a tight space and I do have a hard time recording it without me being constantly in front of the camera. So right beside the cookie jar I am going to be adding I added my DIY uh, Pottery Barn dupe. I love their gingerbread uh, things that the, they sell there, but they are quite pricey. I was actually considering painting my cookie jar the same way as that tree. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about when I do talk about the gingerbread at Pottery Barn, but if you don't know, look it up. They are quite nice, um, and I would love to add a couple pieces even if those pieces have to be a DIY. And opposite of that tree I added an evergreen tree and then on the bottom I added this red beautiful candle holder and I'm just showing you I'm going to use a double sided tape to hang up that DIY hot cocoa sign. I've 
recently just started using command hooks probably in the last two years on literally everything that I need to hang in my house and I truly wonder where I've been all these years when I struggled with sticky tag and just regular tape to hang stuff up this has definitely changed the way I use my decor in a house the command hooks definitely came to the rescue and I can't believe I lived without them for so long. So coming back to the bottom to balance out the Christ the green Christmas tree that's on top, the pine tree, I'm going to add a HomeSense vase with some HomeSense cedar. This was a bunch of 12 branches that I bought several years back. I think it was before cedar was popular because I paid like $12 for the 12 branches, which is crazy with how the prices move now. And then I'm going to bring back my little wooden tray and to it I'm going to add my vintage uh, sugar and a creamer and to the creamer I'm going to add my fancy silverware. silverware just the spoons and then um, in between the decorating I ended up going to the dollar store and I picked up some battery operated uh, lights mini lights uh, I did want to try these out because they are two dollars and 25 cents and they have a timer and they run on AA batteries which means they're going to be lasting for a little while and they have a six hour timer so pretty much you turn them on and then six hours later they will turn off and then they I assume that they will come on 24 hours later so I mean yeah so I'll have to see whether that actually happens or not so I just bought one pack just to try it out because I would love to have these for my uh, garlands because they're so pretty however I did notice that I bought pure white and I think I want warm white and I'm not sure whether they actually have the warm white so I did put this um, pure white onto this tree just because I don't have any other uh, lighted stuff in in the kitchen so it's not throwing me off as much as it would be if I incorporated it with um, a Christmas tree that has warm lights although I do have a Christmas tree in my family room right next to it so I'm wondering whether that's going to bother me there and here it is my cozy Christmas coffee station ready for winter mornings I have also added a little touch of Christmas right around my sink I have my soaps, my hand soap and my dish soap in these in these brown bottles uh, and I like to keep them on top of a wood pedestal although I am thinking of swapping that for a marble just because the wood leaves some staining on top of my uh, countertop and I constantly have to clean it but I just added a simple ornament to the tray just to add a little bit more Christmas to it. For finishing touch, I've added a wreath to the hood with a command hook and I swapped out my regular kitchen sign for a festive one. These small changes really bring the holiday spirit into the kitchen. Thanks so much for decorating with me today. I hope this inspired you to add some festive charm to your kitchen with a mix of DIY budget-friendly finds and, a cozy, and cozy Christmas touches. Let me know in the comments which part of the kitchen you love most or any traditions you have when decorating for holidays. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss more holiday inspiration. See you in the next one and happy decorating! Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The 
Christmas baby The snow is laying two feet deep Now wish upon a falling star So all your secret dreams can come true There's something that happens when sleigh bells are ringing in December Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, baby. 